Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft rolled out another beta channel inside a preview build, build WT635.3720, and that was made available with the update KB5039312. So if you are interested as to what Microsoft is working on uh, in the beta channel, then just a quick video to go through some of the key highlights. Now, first of all, because Microsoft has basically finalized our annual 24H2 feature update for Windows 11, things are currently looking a little bit thin, so to speak, uh, when it comes to front-facing features in the beta channel. But we do get a couple of um, improvements and new features uh, for last week. And the first two or three also rolled out last week to the Canary channel and have now moved down to the beta channel. And the first is that narrator users can now use voice access which is an accessibility feature to dictate text hands-free. So just a quick recap if you missed that previous video. So you can dictate text with voice and hear what is dictated. And over and above that, you can also use voice access to give narrator commands. So as an example, you can turn, narrate, turn on narrator, speak faster, read selection, read next line, and so on. And then the next is, um, there's also now auto restart for voice access and new voice access command for Windows Search. So voice access is also obviously an accessibility feature where you can use your voice to type and control your device. And Microsoft says this feature ensures that voice access will automatically restart if it encounters any issues so that individuals with limited mobility can get back to using voice access as quickly as possible, which I think is a nice move. And then they're also introducing a com a new command for searching directly with Windows Search. So basically, they mentioned that um, you can now say the command search entity, search Windows for entity, or search for entity to search for their desired application or file in Windows. So entity is replaced with whatever application or file you want to search. So there you go. That's just a couple of uh, quick examples if you would be interested. Now, moving on to the next, yes, some changes and improvements. And the first is that they, Microsoft say they are beginning to roll out the ability to share local files uh, directly from within the search results shown in the search box on the taskbar, which I actually think is a step forward. And then there's a couple of fixes for File Explorer, which is always a good thing where Microsoft does work on File Explorer because I don't feel that File Explorer is up to par with, as an example, the File Explorer in Windows 10. We get some known issues because we are, in effect, still in preview in the beta channel. And then they're also introducing suggested replies in phone link for Android. And we have spoken about this one also previously on the channel. So this has made its way to beta. So basically, just a quick recap with suggested replies, you'll see three contextually relevant reply bubbles to choose from when you receive a message and uh, the, fee the feature is turned on by default so basically you can start using it right away so you simply select a suggested reply and it will be sent immediately and suggested, re suggested replies are rolling out with phone link version 1.24051.98 and higher so just take note of that so that's it guys that's more or less what's happening in the beta channel for last week and as mentioned not too many front-facing features, and that's due to the fact that, as mentioned, 24H2 has basically been finalized. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.